one of the advertised features of the Framework 12 is durability. So I wanted to find out if it would hold up to a little abuse. This won't be super scientific, I'm just going to subject it to some knocks and drops and see how it holds up. So let's start with the laptop in a cheap backpack with a laptop sleeve. And we're going to want some books. And a charger and some cords. So let's get started. To start, I decided to set the backpack in the trunk of my car. A few times. After which the laptop worked fine and seemed absolutely no worse for wear. Don't you just hate when you accidentally leave something on the top of your car and it falls when you drive off? Don't you just hate when it falls slightly out of frame and you have to do it again? But no worries, after two drops, the laptop is fine. I decided to use an outdoor table for the next phase of testing. I've got the table, I just need the laptop. There we go. The laptop is still working, so let's slide it off the table. The machine took some damage to the TPU bumper on the corner, but the laptop is still working fine. I did multiple drops in various ways checking after each drop to see if it was still working. This table isn't very high, but I figure pavement is more abusive than the plywood that most companies say their laptops are drop tested onto. And there you have it. I had originally planned to keep ramping up the abuse until something broke and then buy parts to repair it. But parts aren't available yet and I think what I've already done shows that it can definitely handle some abuse and come out mostly unscathed. So I decided not to keep ramping up and essentially intentionally break it. The TPU bumper is definitely a little worse for wear on some of the corners. But overall, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of, you know, kind of scuffs on the bottom. There was a little bit of kind of driveway grid <laughs> embedded into it, but a light wipe with my hand and it pretty much mostly came off. So overall, not too bad and it still works just fine. No problems. And despite the scuffs, the chassis isn't bent or deformed or anything, so that's nice. 
and that's kind of the good thing about plastic. After most of the drops and tosses, and in fact, even just after carrying it around for a while, I could see a slight line on the screen protector from this edge right here. But it always wiped right off, so not a big deal. Still, it might be an indication that the screen protector was a good investment. But either way, it's still working great, so it can obviously take some hits. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.